Hello, L2. What's that one? That one. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. I love Hades. I love its character writing, I love its art, I love how it gives narrative context to its roguelike design, I love how it incentivizes death, I love its combat, I love its challenge, and I love how flexible it can be depending on who's playing it. Your favourite characters, strategies, playstyle, which gods you prefer, they all differ from player to player. Hell, for players who just want to hang out with the mythological peoples of the underworld, there's even a god mode so they don't need to stress about difficulty. Oh, uh, hey there, Dusa. How's your endless toil treating you? And for players that want to focus on challenge, Hell Mode is right there to kick your ass. Why am I doing these things? Why am I here? Oh, 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 oh. There's so many things happening. If you're new to this series, I've spent the past couple of years making my fiance, the Nubis Humanus, play the first few hours of various games. At this point, we've covered a whole chunk, from Hollow Knight to Apex Legends to Resident Evil to Hitman. But there's one genre I've been staying away from, roguelikes. And that's mainly because I don't like them. Don't boo me! I don't like getting set back to the start of a game. I don't like that the levels change randomly so I can't map out a route. But despite that, I love Hades, especially those bits. So what makes it different? I was going to say, why is he so pale? But he's in the underworld. So I mean, that makes sense. Well, to find out, I grabbed a few beers, sat the future Mrs. Monty down, and asked her to put the game to the test, to see if a noob and non-gamer, namely my fiance, can go the distance and fall in love with the game. The rules, as always, were pretty simple. Number one, I wouldn't play any of the game for her, she was on her own. Number two, her goal was to defeat the first boss, Megara. And number three, I wouldn't be a backseat gamer. All to answer one question, Nubis Humanus. Can my fiance get good at Hades? Let's find out. Can you give me a beer? Yes, I can. Thank you. Well, what happens? Okay, I can't. Great, that's good. That's good, I can't just fall off the edge. Hades is very hands-off with its tutorial. You're dropped into your first run without explanation or tutorialization, conditioning you to start experimenting with all of the buttons on your own and finding what works. But all the ghosty people. Why are these people not up here? <laughs> this, I accept this message. What? Okay. Hail, noble cousin. Ah! Oh, I like her design. A little level. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very, very good. Watching her drink up the writing made me feel, for the first time, like roles had been reversed. The Nubis is really interested in Greek mythology, so I found her interrogating a lot of Hades' world building from the get-go. She kept taking a beat to appreciate the art style and character designs, and commenting on little things that I'd never noticed myself. I like how the trees has got, I'm guessing, their pomegranates yeah. on them. That's why Hades gives uh, Persephone. She eats seven seeds of the pomegranate. Oh. It's like knowingly, like, if you eat these, you're down here. Um, and oh. she willingly takes them. Zeus's beard turning into clouds, Hades' regal design with a heavy focus on wealth and gems, even Hypnos got a little analysis. Is that poppies on his, on his wee belt? Because, you know, poppies sleep in, like, oh. um... That's cool, and the wee sleep mask. But when it came to gameplay, that classic panic and whack strategy we've all grown accustomed to burst out. Ah! Oh! But how do I fight him? Do I not fight him? Do I try to fight him? Oh! Oh no, now there's two! No! Lads! Nope. Oh no, I can't. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Oh, they're baddies. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a thing I could have picked up. Hades' combat is deep, with how you can juggle certain powers and boons to create an unstoppable killing machine in the main character Zagreus. But as far as button inputs are concerned, it's not that complex. Attack, special, dash, dash strike, and cast. But our last episodes were stealth, horror, and a first person shooter, so she had to unlearn a lot of the basic button inputs all over again. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm not playing Apex Legends. So that means like I can like dash through them almost and it gives some damage. That seems like a very me thing to do. I'll do. The hands-off approach means a player can immediately start thinking about what tactics they want to embrace. The Nubis was feeling apprehensive, there wasn't much confidence behind each swing of her sword, and she knew that she didn't want to get close to any enemies. So she armed herself with the power to do damage when dashing and set off for the rest of the tutorial. Do not mess with me right now. Don't mess with me right now.
Oh, what's that? What is that? Why is it shooting me? What is that? What? Stop laughing at me! I swear to God. <laughs> what was what was shooting at me? What is that? Why is there a cannon in hell? Um. Okay, so I've got an option. Do I go based on looks? If you go based on looks, which one are you more attracted to? Uh, probably the gold one. <laughs> Okay, sure. Because <laughs> the red one looks dangerous. <laughs> red means danger. What happens if I die in the tutorial? <sighs> not good, not good things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that honestly the tutorial? Yeah. God damn. <laughs> Four rooms down before her first death, but with that death came her first complaint, the isometric view. I just went to move the camera <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, but to be fair, it doesn't mean that I'm like, oh my god, I'm trying to move and also trying to do the camera at the same time. Oh my god. So I mean, that's quite good. But also, like, I want to see <laughs> the other side. Sure. Okay. Just because it's cool. Just because it's cool. Like, the background is very cool. Hades is unlike anything she's played before. When she tried out Resident Evil, she hated the fixed camera angles, mainly because they were doing their job by scaring the shit out of her. But the isometric view is very different. It's all about increasing your spatial awareness, a damn necessity for action games like this. But she was so enamored by the art style and that she wanted full control over where she could look. Thankfully, the charm of the House of Hades made her forget all about her complaints. It's just random seats just everywhere. <laughs> is this like blueprints? Mm-hmm. The pain of death is but another obstacle. No, you can't see his feet. <laughs> <laughs> what were you trying to look at his, his heel? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why is that? Because he's died. Use matter to grow stronger. Oh, that's cool. Why has he got like a Medusa head? I'm guessing it's not Medusa head. Yeah, it's a Medusa head. Medusa was a person. Like, or maybe it's like a paper mache. It shouldn't surprise anyone that Cerberus fast became her favorite. After every single run, she made a point of giving him a fuss, but it wasn't just him that won her heart. The House of Hades is our hub. The player will spend a lot of time here, customizing it, upgrading our stats, and deepening the relationships with our Chthonic pals. I was really worried that she wouldn't engage with any of that, because to be frank, it's where a lot of the game's charm lies, and every time you die, you'll come back to new conversations, upgrades, and surprises, diluting how annoying dying can be. If the Nubis didn't like the House of Hades, the whole thing would have been a wash. But that wasn't the case at all. The bedchambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray, despite his lord and master of the house. Is <laughs> 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 it? It's not that bad, man. Even the narrator got a chuckle or two. Out of all the games we've played, even Hollow Knight, this is the first time she sank into the story without being sarcastic or cynical about it. We played for almost four hours, and she was silent for at least three of them, regularly chuckling away at one of the game's jokes rather than her own, and I think that's a testament to the writing. Oh, so like, that's what I've got. That's, these are what I can unlock. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. It's just a shame that she didn't get to meet one of the game's best characters here. She'd picked up a key that could unlock Koronak, the heart-seeking bow. The game even told her that's what she was supposed to do. She even acknowledged that the weapons were there, but because she didn't remember that she'd picked up a key, she didn't get to meet the man, the myth, the legend, Skelly. Escape. Never all, well, technically DOS. Ah well, there's always next time. Oh! That's not where I wanted to go. Is this a run? Yep. Why am I starting back? This is the beginning. This is gonna be annoying. Okay. The beginning of run number two came with an unwelcome surprise. The Nubis hasn't played roguelikes or roguelites, so she didn't know that every time you died, you went right back to the start. The rooms of the underworld would reshuffle and she'd lose all of her godly powers. Oh, the dash doesn't do anything. The dash does not do anything. Thankfully, the game has numerous permanent upgrades you could play around with in the form of keepsakes, darkness, and weapon upgrades, but after getting so used to her abilities the first time through, it was a shock to lose them and need to change tact. I need more health. That's honestly what I need. Are these just onlookers? Yeah. Amazing. 
Love it. I'm just hanging out. Just, just got nothing else to do. <laughs> I, need, I need nice. help. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Okay, I'ma die. I'ma die. I'ma die. I'ma die. I'ma die. I'ma die. I'm gonna die. No, I need health. There's no body health. I don't even know what health looks like. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I also don't think I'm gonna get very far. Have you tried moving out of the way? <laughs> Have you tried moving out of the way? Thankfully, as she prepared for run number three, she finally took note of the quest at the top of the screen, telling her to buy a new weapon. And with it came our good friend Skelly. Nice place you got your boyo. Name Skelly has it going, but enough with the small talk already. <laughs> why? Why does he sound like that? Because <laughs> he's Skelly the Skeleton. I thought. Oh, he's a training dummy. <gasps> oh my god. The mysterious Skelly has been hired to be our training dummy, spouting useful advice with every death. Always keep dashing, smash enemies against walls, use traps to our advantage. He constantly nudges the player in the right direction if we need a bit of help. I'm probably going to stick with my sword because absolutely stack that one at all. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so here's how the next half hour of gameplay went down. I wanted a dash back, man. The dash was good. What's that? <laughs> Elf? Elf? What is that? Oh, 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 oh. oh very good. That is damage. But that's not fair, it's not hitting him. Ah, oh, boo. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. No. Why? <laughs> oh. I died the last time. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Maybe try killing him beforehand. I don't know. <laughs> Does he ever give any good advice? Mate, you're gonna get so sick of me and I'm so sorry. Okay, I will, I will try something different. Why not? I'm not as annoyed by the camera as I thought I would be. It's not really affecting anything. It's not like I can't see enemies. Just the way that the room's like laid out. Mm -hmm. I can still like assess the situation before I jump into it sort of thing. And yeah, again, it's like one less thing that I need to worry about. I don't need to worry about this joystick. Do, 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 do. I love it. You see how the background like moves slightly? Oh, it's just such a cool effect. I'd be actually enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> Fathers, I've come! Yes! Progress, baby! Multiple cocktails is no good. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's no good, shut up! <laughs> Have they got two health bars? Is that what I'm seeing? Like the yellow and the red? Even after dying and trying and dying again, that frustration that I expected to find didn't appear. She was too busy basking in the art style, and the witty writing, and the wide variety of boons gifted to her by the gods. Every time she returned to the House of Hades, she'd speak to her friends and quietly read through any codex updates. Every time a new deity appeared, she would get really excited and try to guess who it might be based off of their sigil. Cupid? Oh, it's one of the... Oh, it's, um... Apollo? Not Apollo. Is it his sister? Mm. Is that um, Dionysus? Maybe. <laughs> You're proud of me that I knew that? Yeah. Uh, Dionysus yeah. is the god of good times, wine, drunkenness, and possibly drugs. My second favorite god. Yeah? Yeah, he's great. That sound. <laughs> what? It sounds like a party! Very much what I expected of Dionysus. As I always thought of him, he's a total like flirt, enjoys the ladies, enjoys the drink, like I don't know if they had drugs back in ancient Greek time, but he would enjoy the drugs as well. Sure. Like food and wine is like his like thing. Um, I, yeah. I love Dionysus. And he's, he's quite, he's quite farty, he's got a like a metal gutter <laughs> on his leg. Oh, I've never noticed. Mm. Yeah. yeah, very good. It's like hangover. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Hades won a BAFTA for a reason, but it wasn't just the art style and characters that kept her engaged. The central conceit of roguelite designed it. I kind of like how there's different, um, there's different rooms. It makes it more interesting, honestly. Mm. 
I think the changing rooms is great. It's different every time, so you're not like, oh my god, I need to go through this again. Okay, this body, this body, and blah, blah, blah. Like, I think Fair. it would get quite repetitive if they didn't change it. Super cool. Like, I, I love that. I don't imagine how that could be bad. It makes me wonder if she'd enjoy a rogue like half as much. Rogue lights like Hades or Cult of the Lamb make sure to give the player some form of permanent progression. For example, when you die in Hades, you still hold on to nectar, darkness, gemstones, and the like. Who should I give this to? I see. So who do you give it to? Anybody. Rogue likes, like Enter the Gungeon, are more brutal. They set you back to zero with no progression. What makes Hades so special, I think, is that the permanent progression is also story based. Every death is an opportunity to reunite Orpheus and Eurydice, or learn about who hired Skelly. Every run is canonically part of the story. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the genre itself, so I'm not best placed to make recommendations. If you've got any good ones you think she should try, drop them in the comments. Why is there a skull on that one? Well, why are there two gods in that one? Oh, it's Dionysus, never mind. <laughs> one god or the other. Wisely decided, dearest. Wait, did I have to pick between them? You picked Aphrodite. <gasps> I didn't know I had to pick between them. Oh, no. The gods aren't always our best friends. They're as bitter, petty, and spiteful as the myths that precede them. So sometimes you'll get a room like this one where you're forced to pick between two. And whoever you leave out will take that personally. No, Dionysus. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I'm so sorry. No. No, 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 Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. What is the purple things? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. for a good laugh there, Zach. What was it I was going on about before? The purple was him. You wronged Dionysus by not picking him. So <gasps> he, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he like attacked That's so bad. Oh, hello. Oh, you're giving him the gift. Yeah, why not? Should be nice. Also, I didn't realize that's what that meant. It was on this fifth run that the Nubis made it to her boss, Megara, the first Fury. She limped into Charon's chamber with 10 HP and one extra life, summoned her resolve, and prepared to fight. Let's go, boss time! Woo! Hot Sagrius, not one step further. Oh my god! <laughs> she even sounds like Megara! Ah! Oh, that's a Megara from Hercules! Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Head. Oh, there's two of them. I can't believe they made Medusa a maid. <laughs> I can't. Oh, and away she goes. <laughs> With a vague idea of how many rooms were between her and Megara, the noob is set off in a training regimen that I wasn't expecting. She put down her beer, gripped her controller, and announced that she wasn't moving until she'd beaten her. I have no idea what's happened. Get down. <laughs> 
That was quick. All right, game! Despite firmly embracing the dash, which was great, the Nubis hadn't embraced the dash strike, which was not great. It's a move that can keep up your speed while also dealing a good chunk of damage. You'll see in the footage so far that she'd get into place and then rely on a few swipes with her sword while standing still, leaving her open to injury. Though I was happy to see her figure out that unarmored enemies would stagger if she kept wailing on them. There's enemies with two bars, mm. one red and one yellow. Mm. And so is it that they can attack if they've got the yellow bar? And if I get them down enough, then they stagger when I hit them. Yeah. Offense is always the best defense with Hades. Stay on the attack and don't let an enemy get a single hit in. She was halfway to really kicking some ass. We just needed her to learn the dash strike. I want to go lie down. Do you? Okay. As if sensing that she was getting annoyed, the game decided to throw her a bit more story in the form of a flashback, revealing the true reason Zagreus is breaking out of the underworld. I love this. Good, so this good. is great. What the hell? This is amazing. Again, she was really enjoying the writing and the art style, and it softened what felt like a really punishing game. And in fact, it was from this point on that something kind of changed in how she interacted with it. At the risk of pulling back the curtain, usually when we film these, she babbles away to herself as if she's streaming for a live audience. But Hades kind of swallowed her up. For long periods of play, sometimes full runs, all I got was silent concentration that looked and sounded like this. So with that in mind, here's a compilation of what the next 1 hour and 34 minutes looked like. Ah, oh, oh no. No, I don't want to pick between them. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I don't like these enemies. <laughs> Come on! Well done. The same before I talk to him. Ah! These vases have to go. I'm about to die. <laughs> but it's fine, cause it's my body here. Your whip's not been all that persuasive in the past. <laughs> Do they have a thing? I thought this last time they said something. Mm -hmm. And I was like, are they shacking? Oh, already? My god. Let's get away! Get away! Get away! Ah! Oh. Oh. It's Hades, 100%. Ah! Oh. <laughs> this is great! This is great. This feels like cheating. Your best bud. My best bud. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Hermes, mm -hmm. such a gossip. Oh, it's gonna suck without Ares help. Oh no. <sighs> that was bloody intense, what it? It's not what I want. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no! I hope the fates are nicer to you next time. I hope so too, mate. Your attack affects doom. Yes, your special affects doom. Ooh, what's that? Ooh. Yeah. Who the hell is this? Do I really want? I don't really want. I want more damage. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Damn. But despite every failed attempt, this was her most common comment. This is this is brilliant. Like, I love this. This is great. With run number 11 on the cards, she'd already started to fit into a playstyle that she liked. Not Athena, not Aphrodite, not that listless wag Zeus. No, her favourite god was my boy Ares. And what followed after his gift proved why he's the best god of the lot. Jim, yep. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so easy with it. Yep, I don't even need to look at the next one. 
This was her best run yet. She'd picked up on how useful dash striking is, and she'd started to prioritize which gifts she picked to maximize her powers. Armed with a level 4 Curse of Agony that adds 116 damage half a second after you hit something, she was ready to kick Megara's ass once and for all. There you have it, with just 10 deaths under her belt, she'd made it through the first floor of the underworld. With a spring in her step and an all new burst of confidence, we decided to keep the run going, diving into the next floor, Asphodel, to see how far she could get before the next death. Okay. Mm. Stop going into the fire! <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what's happening, stop laughing. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. But if you've been following the timestamps, you'll know by now that that's not the end of the story. So for reference, it was just after 11pm. As I moved to back up the microphone and call tonight, the Nubis stopped me. Can I keep going? Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> Run number 12. With the knowledge gained on how to beat Meg and with Ares blood vial that let her make sure he was the first god that would appear, she was... What's the word? Uh... Cocky. She was a cocky little shit. You suck. <laughs> rude She was rude to me? What are you talking about? I've gone farther than I can see from here. Yeah, you have. Because I am great. Oh, yes! Best boy. And I am most impressed. <laughs> He's oh, impressed? Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, good start for me! Yeah! Oh, what a great day this is! I should just cower in my wake. And for reference, look at how she moves. Look how quickly she's cleaving through enemies. Before Meg's defeat, she was averaging runs that took 20 minutes. This one took eight. Didn't kill you. So you got her with, with a whole life left. Look, nine, nine HP left. <laughs> Asphodel is probably my least favorite floor because of the magma that coats its rooms. It makes the anarchic dash strike playstyle that I like a little trickier, and you need to be careful you don't fly off of the edge of its various islands. This was a hurdle the Nubis ran into as well, but she took it in her stride, uttering only two words as she fought through. Hello, bud. And after hacking a bone and hopping through magma so quickly, the game's second boss, Lerny the Bone Hydra, kind of snuck up on both of us. So I guess here's boss number two. Wow.
Oh. You're back, you're still going. What? <laughs> Hand hurts. <laughs> First try, she was unstoppable. She was a killing machine. She was Ares' right hand. She was entering into Elysium with only 63 health and no lives. She was sacrificing a further 26 HP. Wait a minute. Going in. <laughs> sure. Why not? What's that? Can I hit it? I need help. I need help. I need help. Give me help. Give me help. If you get to the next boss, I swear to. Butterflies. What's happening? Baby shark do 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 Why am I so alive? I don't know! Do 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 Why am I alive? Do 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 Why am I alive? Why are the chariots? <laughs> what is happening? I don't know! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go, 12 runs, 2 bosses, 3 zones. I'm wary that this video will feel very different from all the other games we've covered. Aside from that final crazy Elysium run, there's less yelling at the game, less questioning, less frustration that normally makes the whole thing funnier. And the reason for that is because she really, really loved this one. Like I said, there was a point where she wasn't messing around for the sake of a video and actually enjoying herself. And why is that? Well, I'll let you hear it from her. Oh, silly good fun. <laughs> I'm having a real ball, <laughs> like an absolute ball playing this. This is great. This is fantastic. The art style's great. I don't feel bored. I don't feel like I need to grind. Really good. Really enjoyed it. 10 out of 10. If I could ask you to compare it to some of the other games you've played, mm -hmm. um, where does it sit? Oh, it's top. top. This is your favorite? This is my favorite. This Over my... Hollow Knight? Yeah. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I could, like, I could play this again and again and again and not be bored. Hey, thanks for watching. The next time you hear both of us together, we'll be married and moved home, which is really exciting. As always, a massive thank you to my patrons scrolling up the left-hand side of the screen. Your support means the world to both of us. In fact, you're the reason I was able to hire a harpist for the wedding ceremony, so there you go. That's what August's dollar is going towards. So, order of thanks go to... Ter Verheid, Creepo, Serge Svent, Rosie Rowland, Weather Waxing, Joe Bardsley, Junis Mikolau, Mr. Alienated, Alexander Hollingworth, Funny Man 1257, Evie, Pika Doom, EVK, Hurry Up Snufkin, Grim Ally, Vadim Orlov, Joe Pierce, Daniel Swan, Nikolai Jorgensen, Damon, James Edney, Joe Smart, AJ, Morbid Carlson, Michael Weingarter, Sushi Sasha, Jubilation Chambers, Abram Partida, Abby, Chancellor Delamere, Jeff Ho, Ronald McDonald, Christ Crystal Mulrine, Murderous Lord, Evan Schrader, Dominus Knox, Mayday in Paradise, Oobly Doobly, Adam Harrison Fuller, Eric Evans, Andy Seco, Joe Humphreys, Caleb Gunter, Cha Jacob Lanu, Camila Kuzovic, Quiet Ambassador, Paul Thomas, David Riata, Given, Jerry Humes, Jerry Humes, Turticus Rex, Asmodeus, Joe Monty, Alec Meacham, Jacob Winnen, Wrecked 3501, Fox Reacts Gaming, Chris Duran, Ginger Kappa, David Neal, Halton, Jonathan Horner, Misfit Musica, Michael Smith, Mikolaj Kokot, Daniel Tarek, Clem, Prudvi Muva, Thomas Evans, Samantha P, Dapper Cyborg, Dan, Ernesto, When Goats Attack, Tenic, Mike Cripps, Vincent, The Hollow Knight, Bloody, Gabe, Rariter, Webby, Patrick Forsell, Nur Revel, Eve, Tyler Cox, Procrastinator, E.P. Horry, Unlucky Dragon, Nikki Deedles, Gaming University, Yaya ya Schnitzel, Eddie Black, Abby the Bard, Combat Wombat, Top Hat Tiger, Joe Jimenez, Wayward Flock, Larmed Larma, 
Fluffy the Demon, Destroyer of Worlds, Thomas Pruitt, Spalter, Danations, Christopher McBride, The Slayer of Games, Daniel Boyles, Shishki, Wandering Alpha, Vivi, Mija, Reg Midema, Captain Bong Clay, Alec Maxwell, Normal McPerson, Your New Roadmate, Captain Cabinet, Logan Hamilton, David Bryn Yarson, George Vincent, Danger Zone, Chris McMullen, Chris McRae, Ryan Bryce, Ryan, Brenton, Matt Emmy, Matthew Halsey, Sean Toland, Jerome Hotchkiss, Prodigal Horse, Mr. Anthropic, Mike Chalabi, Trenchcoat Guy, The Heirs of History, Cody, Kyle P. Feely, Garrett Birchall, Chapches Vaz 76, Jack, Neil Mack, Sam's Forge, Joey Isbell, Aurelia, Kristen Fenchel, Neon Leah, Patrick Baird, LGX, Big Boar Wolf, Nicholas Chemin, Trevor Vernon, Mark Anderson, Joel Wilcox, Pleo, Blank Name, Leon, X Wrights, Shimax, Jonathan Riggs, Zachary Johnson, Daxter TK421, DNSCH, Monacari, Kieran Gresty, Lamar825, Ike N, The All Brand Man, Tempe, Unicort, David J. Morin, Minito, Callum Arbitage, Christopher Tierney, Torstein Sunness, Fipsy, Luca, Tom Inns, Sammy Stuff, Jaguke, Alberto Calles, Captain Waffles, Type Raz, Zachary Powers, Andrew Muinos, Prospero, Alan Black, Callsign Noor, David Bedard, Jared Helfer, Mooker, John Foster Rag, Robert Capel, Matt McCulloch, Paul W, Chief Sweep, Ehor May, Jonathan Lum, Rees, Strupp, Angry Optimist, Mr. Fredo, Renton, Long Cheddar, Toxter, Ashley Broning, 100 Sams, My Friend Neil, Nathaniel Waters, Dinkin Pearson, Kyle Pears, Lonely Ronin, Kane Highwind, and Neve Care. Thank you all so much, and take care.